All right, people, uh, welcome to the vlog. Um, so, as you can see, uh, we're in the long wig now. Um, been on estrogen uh, a full month, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so much more myself, uh, so much more relaxed as well. Uh, I'm not as, like, angry either, so... Um, so, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so I just wanted to do like a bit of a vlog update so um, I can inform you on all the changes that I've noticed so far. So uh, I am growing my hair and I hope by the time the gym is open again and lockdown is lifted and stuff, I hope that by then I will have um, um yeah, I hope by then I will have long enough hair for hair extensions. Um, or I'm going to get a human hair wig. So this is a synthetic at the moment, uh, which is pretty good. Um, um, I, I got past the stage of like itchy wig, you know, um, and it was like really hot. I got past that stage when I got used to it and stuff. So, <clears throat> so, so that's good. Um, so I'm trying to think. Um, so it when I started on the Easter Gen, it was pretty much like flick of a switch, really. Um, in regards to just like happy, like I've been out in public loads wearing the long wig. Um, haven't worn any makeup though. Um, that but that's down. That's more down to um. Um, what was I going to say? That's more down to wanting to get the right makeup and the right, um, the right look. So last year when I was wearing, when I was on testosterone, but I was wearing makeup and the wig, uh, when I was in like London, places like that, visiting gender clinics and stuff like that, and just going down for like mini breaks and stuff, um, I felt super on edge, like I can't even explain how anxious I was. It was insane. And the amount of like people that were going, yeah, but you shouldn't feel anxious. You should feel like, you know, um, happy and like, you know, uncomfortable. And I was like, but I don't feel like it's like super anxious and stuff. Only to find out that my endocrinologist has realized, right, that me being on testosterone and having Klein-Fellas syndrome, the testosterone amplified my gender dysphoria by 10 times. So, yeah. So that's why my head was fucking burnt out. And I felt like, you know, I felt like I was on, on, like on the fence. I felt like, you know, really confused. Didn't know what, where, which way to go. Me, me head was just, I can't even like, it was exhausting because I was so like, well, I'm on testosterone, how come I feel this way? And But then, like, throughout the day, I would feel, like, super, f like, feminine and female and want to be a girl. And then, like, an hour would pass and then I'm, you know, or even less. And then, oh, it was, it was horrible, honestly. Um, and now I'm just super chilled. I'm happy. I'm on estrogen. Oh, so much better. I literally can't even like I I used to think like when you when people used to say, Oh, you know, I feel like I'm born in the wrong body, I a hundred percent thought that was a load of bo bollocks bullshit. I was like, no. Like, what are you on about? Like you feel like you're born in the wrong body. I get it. I I a hundred percent feel, you know, now after like Seeing, believing, feeling completely different. Should have been born a girl, hundred percent. Because how I feel, like I'm, I'm going the full, I'm going the full journey. Like uh, I'm in process of changing my name. I'm on estrogen patches now. Um, getting voice surgery and training uh, over the summer, and then in about five years, when I can afford it. Uh, I will get um, bottom surgery, gender reassignment. So, um, 
because the waiting list on the NHS is uh, ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not waiting like 10 years, you know what I mean? Five years minimum at the moment to see a gender clinic on the NHS. Five years wait. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm sorry for swearing, but I'm not waiting that long. And then another three to five years to wait to get bottom surgery. And it's like, if I can save up like 35 grand, like in five years, which I'm going to absolutely bust my ass uh, to do, then happy days. It's, you know, it's doable. But like I suffer with massive discomfort uh, being, I can't sit on certain types of seating. Um, I, I enjoy cycling, but I can't cycle for long. Uh, because of the discomfort in my in my scrotum sac, I I guess is the the, the correct uh, medical term, uh, my ball sac basically, uh, where my right testicle used to be, it just causes me like I, I don't know whether it's nerve damage or whatever, but it's causing me like massive discomfort, and I'm only thirty two. I don't want massive discomfort for like the rest of my life, so get rid of it all give me a vagina you know what i mean so that's the way you know that's the way i say it um so yeah so last year when i went to london for a mini break and also to see gender care um clinic and stuff um what was i gonna say um yeah i wore makeup um and you know i i passed with flying colors like Nobody looked at me funny. No one said anything to me. I was like, 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 uh, like really close to women in the ladies' bathroom and stuff, washing my hands. And no one batted an eye. And it was kind of like, wow. Like, and I'm not even on estrogen yet. And I'm like passing with like flying colors. So that was, um, super insane. I wasn't wearing like dresses and skirts and, you know, I wasn't like, Going over the top, I was literally just like jeans and a t-shirt and like wig and makeup and, you know, loads of people like uh, the the staff in my hotel called me Madame. It, it was insane. I was like, wow, like maybe I can do this. So um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, so makeup. Um, so... I realized last year, um, I was like, I was wearing too much and I wasn't wearing the right, like, color for my face. Um, excuse me. And, um, so I, I, my, I've asked my friends, uh, you know, girlfriends and stuff to like help me out, uh, to give me a bit of advice and technique and like, I've never done contouring, I've never done eyeshadow, you know, um, yeah, so if I can, if I can learn the basics to get basic makeup where, um, I'm able to wear it, but it doesn't look like I'm wearing makeup, that's the point that I want to get to, you know, um, and as soon as lockdown is lifted, I'm going to get my ears pierced as well, um, so yeah, it's exciting times, um, but I'm just so, so much more happy in myself for like, and I'm out as transgender, by the way. So I'm out fully, like I'm wearing a wig in public. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm seeing friends and family and going to, you know, places of interest. Uh, I don't really care what people think of me. I couldn't, I couldn't care less. If people don't like me for choosing the paths the path and the the road you know of the journey that i want to do then good riddance like you don't deserve me in 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 your life um and i have lost a few you know cool people that i respected and i thought were great and they've like disappeared and i'm like bye <laughs> see ya <laughs> i i i don't care um so yeah, it's uh, it, it's it, it's a mad journey, but I'm happy I'm doing it like still early on. So I don't want to get to like fifty and I'm like still confused on testosterone and you know what I mean. I want I want to live my life. So <sighs> yeah, so I am. So uh, I miss my mom. You know, lost lost my mom. Um, December 2019, uh, which I still haven't really grieved yet. 
it literally feels like she's moved out. So that hasn't hit me yet. So I'm just trying to crack on with my life, getting fit. I'm enjoying, you know, who I've become. And yeah, I'm just happy to be myself and go with the flow. That's like, you know, that's like the best way that I can like dis describe it. Um, I've noticed like a few changes, like um, mentally, I'm just much more relaxed. I am quite emotional. <laughs> like, uh, whereas w when I was on the testosterone, I would just get angry and be like, <laughs> you know, and turn green like the Incredible Hulk, and I just it, f it really burnt my head out. Like just angry all the time, like explosive Joseph. <laughs> like honestly, it was it was it was exhausting because I was just angry all the time. Whereas um, now, like I, I quite emotional, quite, um, and I've only been on to, um, I've only been on estrogen one month, so it's gonna intensify. I can feel it already. So, but you know, new, um, new feelings, and yeah. So I hope this video helps some people out. I am working on documentaries and stuff. I took like a bit of a break from it because I was doing tons of music projects and my head was just battered with like being on testosterone, then coming off the testosterone, then wanting to start estrogen and it being delayed because of lockdown. And, oh, it's been exhausting. <sighs> so yeah, uh, I hope this video helps. Um, any questions or anything, drop me an email. I'll put my email in and yeah, and ask away. Okay, okay, I hope this helps and uh, yeah, stay well, speak to you soon. Peace.